everybody, good to anyone back with another video and a very useful video at that. I think this is like one of the coolest things I've ever discovered about OBS Studio. Um, so for those of you who do like um, perhaps like painting streams or uh, like to play music and want to show what you're currently playing from something like YouTube, um, there is a really cool way of doing that. And even so cool is the fact that you can actually change the volume of something on the fly inside OBS without having to do any desktop capture, without having to do any kind of um, weird uh, browser capture, nothing. This really just takes care of all of that. So I'm going to go ahead and flip to my desktop capture for the sake of, of this tutorial. And I'm actually going to, oh, wait, not that. Um, shoot, this is what I was looking for. Where's the, I hope I've, hey, let me make sure I still got the link copied before I do this. Yeah, I do. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add a, um, uh, a new browser source. So you do the usual, you know, browser, add browser source. I'm going to call this music because I'm pasting something from YouTube. And obviously right now, you know, this is my, this is the source that we're getting. But if you paste the URL, and this is a URL of a playlist. I'm going to change it to um, 1280 by 720 frame rate. I, I don't think it really matters. And if I click OK, bam. I now have music showing in my uh, uh, showing. And there's a very cool feature inside OBS. Uh, I'm going to do it again. So you right click, left click on interact, and it brings up this window. And what I'm about to do is actually adjust the, I can adjust the volume of the music and do things like close ads. I can switch uh, switch songs, things like that. And this really is, um, I think, like a really super cool way of um, basically showing something from the internet, like a live stream or tutorial video, like I mentioned before, without ever having to do any desktop capture or web browsing capture. Because the problem with those is that um, it, uh, it you can create a little bit of like um, issue for yourself while you're um, showing those extra sources because it's just it's extra things your computer has to has to show has to look up sometimes you run into issues with um, like hardware acceleration on certain browsers where OBS just doesn't want to pick that up this by doing it as a browser source makes it easier because you can add something from the internet into OBS and OBS then is acting as the web browser now Unfortunately, you will still probably deal with ads because there is no ad block built into OBS. It's merely only acting as a as a browser source. But I think this is a very, still a very useful feature anyway. That for whatever you're trying to, to achieve for your particular stream, you can now basically interact with the source that you've got on your stream and stuff. Um, unfortunately, you're not able to really do anything when it comes to Twitch alerts because that works in an entirely different way. Um, so there is no actual way of muting things like Twitch alerts, but this is more geared toward people who want to do like, again, painting streams or tutorial streams or whatever it is they're trying to do, um, or if they're doing you know, like E3 commentaries or things like that and stuff, um, you can basically now add it to your stream. And I did the cropping by simply holding the Alt key on my uh, keyboard and then just dragging and left clicking. And it's not exactly perfect cropping, but that's okay. This is a tutorial video, but you can basically now crop it and then place it anywhere you want, make it any size that you want and stuff. And then you could say, go to something like your, for example, my welcome screen here and add, I'm adding it actually, you can't see it, but I am adding the source and I can add the source again. And I can just crop the source like so and like this, and you'll hopefully see this in the recording, I hope. I don't know. I hope it will come through. I think it should. Um, and there you go. You've now got music um, in your, uh, you got a you know music player right inside. It's coming off of uh, off of uh, YouTube, and it looks really clean. It works really well. And yeah, I just thought it was just something useful. So again, if you need to interact with the with the, your source here, you simply right click, click a left click on interact, pulls up the window. And the cool part is, if you leave this up. You can actually then set it somewhere off to the side while you're streaming 
and actually just leave this sort of off camera of sorts and just, you know, play and stop it as you need to. And it looks really, really clean and it just, you know, makes a nice little, uh, very nice little production type of interface and stuff. So I just, I thought that was so cool. I got so excited about it. I was just like, I have to make a video about this. So there you go. So I hope this is helpful to you. If you have any questions, please, as always, drop them in the comment section below. And until then, uh, I'll just catch you guys later. And thank you so much for watching. See ya. Hey guys, I know I just got done doing this tutorial video. I just remembered something else that someone might have a question about, which would be, uh, what would happen if I, wanna, if I would want to add more than one uh, uh, video source or browser source uh, say like if you already have music then you want to have your tutorial slash whatever video you might be watching if you want to have like multiple of those um, so I'm gonna go back and re-add my browser source again which was the music um, just a few minutes ago I just talked about that um, so we have this okay and then let's say like um, you wanted to add I don't know like some kind of let me try to find something here that there would be let's see let's see let's see uh give me a minute here i'm gonna add actually one of my own videos for the sake of just for the uh for the copyright here okay ah okay so let's just say that oh hey while i'm having a music i want to have now a um i know some other video play whatever that might be you're gonna go ahead then again and add another browser source and just name it um i don't know like tutorial video even this isn't actually a tutorial video um, and you're going to go ahead and see, so can you still see that whole second move us over the way? Um, you would then basically do another copy and paste of the video you want to watch. And then you would do that and okay. And there you go. You can now add more than one browser source beside just the one. And again, just the same thing, right click, left click on interact and boom, you can now interact with the video. So I just thought of that in case somebody might want to know, well, how do I do more than one sources? Well, that's how you do it. And it just, you interact it all with, a, with in the exact same way. In fact, you'd have probably like, multiple, well, okay, you only have one interact window open at a time. But again, uh, to the point and it works and there you go. So <laughs> just wanted to add that extra um, thing at the end. So again, thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys later.